Yeah. Let me let me ask you this, because one of your uh, more public um, kind of harsh critics is an FBI or former FBI agent named Phil Carson. Um, I just want to ask, because I'm I'm confused, if he's a federal agent, um, how did he get involved with a state murder investigation, which is the Biggie case, if he's a Fed? Well, he wasn't involved in a murder investigation. He worked a unit which, in the FBI, is like a public corruption unit. And so once the lawsuit against the LAPD was made by um, Valletta Wallace and her estate, um, you know, Russell Poole had published his book, and there's this, you know, effort to try to see whether or not in court they could prove that the elements in that book were true. So, you know, if the elements in that book were true, then there's corruption involved. So the public corruption unit at the FBI, Phil Carson gets assigned, and he begins to conduct his own little inquiry. And, uh, of course, in a short period of time, less than a year, I believe, his department says, man, you haven't found anything here that is going to prove your case, not going to prove our case. So they decide the to shut down their own investigation. And so if, you know, for, oh God, I'd love to debate that dude. Um, you know, when, uh, when he goes out after waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for all these years, just sitting on all that information, um, knowing that his own department is now complicit in a cover up, because if they shut him down and there was evidence to the contrary, then they're equally, you know, they're equally engaged. Um, so it, it, it's all nonsense. You can pull holes, holes all the way through his story. I mean, the whole thing starts with Michael Robinson, schizophrenic nut informant, who uh, admitted to lying about the whole thing. Without Michael Robinson, you never have a mirror. Without a mirror, you never have David Mack. It's the fruit of the poison tree. The whole foundation of that theory is collapsed and to continue to try to prove it to be true is a fool's errand. Well said. Um, with everything that's developed with the Tupac case and Keefe D getting arrested, do you feel like there will be a renewed um, uh, desire for there to be closure in the Biggie case? Well, there's always going to be a desire for there to be closure in the Biggie case. Um, Unfortunately, Kifidi's arrest and the prosecution of, of you know, the murder of Tupac, that's not going to really have any influence on moving Biggie's case forward. A different set of suspects, different set of circumstances. Um, obviously, because of the conspiracy theories, the LAPD case is a bit more complicated than Tupac's, uh, a little bit more nuanced. And so, I don't know, you know. Um, Again, it's the same thing as with Tupac up till last, last Friday. It's not what you know, it's what you can prove. And so even though we know who killed Biggie, um, it's, it's a little bit more difficult to prove because we don't have somebody out there that was involved who's boasting about it. <laughs> you know, if Teresa Swan were to go public and begin to boast about all this stuff, maybe, maybe that would uh, change the dynamics of the Biggie investigation.